time for some spooky. Before we get into this update, I am going to ask you to please do all of the things and you know what they are. Now this is going to be my update for Paranormal Pantivity, which was created by Andrea from over at Pretty as a Peacock. I Her channel name comes up weird when you link it, so what you're seeing in the description box is actually her channel, or in the title box, but it'll also be linked in the description box. This is a project that she did in collaboration with the Fantastic Ladies Group on Facebook, so I'm going to link them in the description box also. Now this is... A project that started on September 24th of 2022 will go through September 24th of 2023 because that is National Ghost Hunting Day. The social media hashtag on this is hashtag Paranormal Pantivity PP. And it is supposed to have started with six prompts, rolling style, however you want to do it, all at once, whatever. She left it kind of open-ended because she sometimes does her projects in different ways, so she left it up to us how we wanted to start it. But we are supposed to do monthly or bi-monthly updates, as long as that's humanly possible. Now, mine um, this month is a little bit late, but hopefully not by too terribly much. And uh, I'm trying to get back on track, you guys, trying. And I know you've seen this look in a couple. I'm trying to do a bunch of batch filming today to try and get a little bit caught up so I can maybe get back on track. Eh. Oh, also, um, the thumbnail that I always use was created by Andrea's sister, and I do have her name in the um, in the thumbnail. I actually added it to the thumbnail in case I forget to mention it in the videos, but I also do have it in the description box, and it's Maria. I don't remember her last name. All right, so this is everything spooky and ooky, so this is kind of a fun one. So we are going to start with, I had number one for poltergeist and that is a product that gives you trouble hard to use hard packaging whatever this i had put in the mary Kay rare jewels color collection it is just a small palette You've, you're seeing pictures of this my goal was for five uses on each pan i have completed that so this is a rollout for this project all right the second one is doppelganger a product you have a double or a backup of now with that this is a Mary Kay thing for me for some reason. I brought in this Mary Kay blush. This is the Wild, Ro Wild Rose blush. I've had pan in it now for a while in this project. Um, I continue to use it. I'm not tracking usages. I'm not even taking pictures. And I'm not even weighing it. But this is where we're at this month. So um, my goal is to finish this. And I'm, I'm still hoping that by the end of this project, this one can be done because I do have more. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell, but that's this is the blush I do have on today. I should probably weigh this again for you guys because I haven't weighed it since like February, but I use it as often as I can. All right, then we have Bloody Mary, and that is a product with a mirror. For that, I had brought in this Benefit blush. This one is Georgia. I had only brought it in for five uses, but I like it a lot, and I kept using it, so I got eight, and then I thought, well, I should maybe stop. And it's going to be a little bit hard to see. It's a really light, lovely peach blush. And I've turned down the lights, but it's so it's so light that on my hand, I don't even know if you can see it a little bit, maybe a little bit. There's a little bit of it there. You can kind of see it. Um, it is very, very pale. It is very, very nice. I absolutely love it as a peach blush for my skin tone. So if you're super paper white pale... There's a lot of us out there, and you can find this, because I don't know if this is, um, this is a mini, and I think I found this one at TJ Maxx. Yes, I did. I don't know if this is still in the line or not with them redoing them a year ago. I'm not sure if it's still around, but if it's in one of your palettes or in your TJ Maxx or whatever, and you're super light and looking for a nice peach, that is a good one to have. So that is a rollout for this project also. Then I had Vanishing Hitchhiker, a product that disappears quickly. I finished this off in April before I came home, so I'm showing you a picture of it. This was um, just a small spray. It was just the travel size that I had gotten from Ulta. So it started at 74 grams. Um, I don't have the package. I think it was a one ounce. I'm not 100% positive. But it is completed. This is the alcohol-free one. It's the Stay Over Alcohol-Free Max Fix Plus. Uh, 
you're probably never going to see my empties. So I did talk about this. I liked it. I used it primarily as literally like kind of a fixing spray, which is perfect because if it doesn't have the alcohol, I just needed it to blend the powders. I didn't use it as a setting spray at all. So it's nice. I like the Max Fi Mac Fix Plus also, and I use that too. So would I specifically go out and buy that? Not necessarily, but if it comes up where it's like a half price thing, would I pick it up? Sure, no problem. I would absolutely grab it again, and I would definitely like alternate between the regular and that one because those are the ones I use to kind of mesh my powders. So I think it works perfectly well for that. All right, then we've got, I think it's Dybbuk is how it's pronounced, but I, it could be no, it's got to be Dybbuk. I don't know. Maybe I'm not pronouncing it right. Go ask Andrea. I don't know. This is a product that was still in its box. So this I had gotten uh, the Odensei Somani 2 highlighter. This one is H105 Azura Shine. And I did this for a five use goal. And I have completed that goal. Okay. Then for Ouija board, it's a product with an embossing or an imprint. With this, same line, same brand, but this one is H102 Pink Star. I absolutely love both of these highlighters. I accidentally dropped one of them and it cracked in half and I lost little chunks of one of them as you saw, I think, in the pictures. But I had a five-use goal on that. I have completed that one also. They're both quite lovely and they were um, an accidental Christmas present from my husband because when I ordered them, for some reason, it went on his card and not mine. But I don't regret having them. I did leave both of them in Arizona, and that's why you've only seen pictures of them. All right, then we have got Orbs, a product that brings life to your face. Well, for me, that's got to be something that starts with my skincare. I brought in this bottle of the Sawaso First Care Activating Serum. It's 0.27 fluid ounces, an 8 milliliter bottle. It is empty. So this one is a finished product or a finished prompt for the project. And this will be going into my empties bin. So you will see it again, hopefully. Hopefully that month, this month's video next month will actually export and you'll get to see the video. But we're completed. Moving on. All right. So then we've got Reincarnation, a product you have bought in the past that has updated packaging. And I flip-flopped this one just because I knew... I had an idea with it and I knew I kind of wanted to do it and then I read the prompt and went, oh, I'm not quite right. I did the Adept Plain Jane palette. I actually have the remastered version. So I don't have the original, but I did put this in for this prompt anyway and Andrea is used to me tweaking everything so she didn't mind. I did this as a no pan left behind. It does have a, a little mirror back there. I stuck my post-it note on top of it to keep track of which shades I use. I thought, oh, I'm getting really close. I've only got like two shades left. I'm wrong. I still have got to use this shade here, this shade here, which I'm not sure how I missed it. And you, what you guys are seeing, okay, maybe you're seeing a little bit of the shifty in there. Hard to tell. And then I have got these two down here and this one here. And since we still have those left, I'm going to swatch them. Okay, so those are the first two. I mean, why not swatch? We're here. You're here. I'm here. Let's play with some shades. All right. And those are the next two. Now you're going to see with these, even from the swatches, that these are really, really light. And so for me, I've been using most of these as topper shades. I haven't been like doing looks with this palette, which is the reason that this one's kind of hanging out so much. That one's dark. Okay. So I, okay, you can kind of see, I'm trying to get different angles. You know what? Now that makes it worse. All right. It's hard to see these because a couple of them are so light, but they're super shiny. They're super fun. They are shifty. I am enjoying the palette. And like I said, I thought I had used, let's not sit here in the dark. I thought I had gotten through more of the shades than I did but that just means it sticks around a little while longer and I keep playing with it. All right, and then, I left it on the ground. I had put in a bonus item because I'm a goof and uh, where is it? Okay, it's this one. This is 
the Luxie eyeshadow in Phantom. And I brought this in because I thought Phantom was one of the prompts, and it wasn't. I'm a dork. So there's that. And this one, this is really fun. This is a really nice, it's almost like a black base purple. And I don't know if you're getting blue or purple or what all you're getting. When I go back and watch these videos, what I'm seeing after they've been edited and uploaded and I'm watching them through the YouTube app is completely different than what I'm thinking I'm seeing when I'm doing this stuff live. I put this in for nine uses and I'm at seven. So I only have two left on this, but I am babying that one. I was thinking because it started in September, that was the ninth month. That's why I put it in for nine. I was thinking, well, okay, even if I just use it once a month, that will kind of get me through most of the project. It's not quite working out that way, but that's okay. I don't mind having it. I've only got a couple uses left, so it's going to stick around. I don't know what I was doing when I was doing this. I have a lot of stuff in here that I finished. So I have actually finished off one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that can't be right. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I finished off six. That was it. This one's not done. And I'm not sure how I had so many in the project since it was supposed to start with six originally. Who knows? Because I do still have three things, well, two things in my bonus left. I'm going to bring in... That makes no sense. I'm bringing in five. That still puts me over six. Anyway, I'm bringing in five. I, I don't even care. I just am. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so <clears throat> I'm bringing in, I think it's Bogey, which is also known as Bogeyman, Boogeyman, whatever. So it's a product that you um, use at night, and I'm cheating on this one too because I have a product that works with this really well. So I'm not following the suggestion for the prompt. I'm actually taking the name of the prompt. I have got another one of my Notoriously Morbid Lip Balms. This is actually a Night Kiss Lip Balm. This is from the Notoriously Morbid Advent Calendar. And the name of this one is There's No Boogeyman. So you know why I put this in. I still have the plastic on this. We're going to open this up. Since I did finish one of my other ones in a video you just saw... I am going to bring in a new lip balm because, because I'm me and I like lip balms. So, ooh, this one is um, a clear, probably a coconut base. I'm not 100% certain, but it smells like it might be, like some of my other ones have been. The flavors on this are chocolate, toffee, coffee flavor. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I actually do like the coffee bean candies. I don't know. I'm weird. I can't stand the smell of brewing coffee either. But we're going to try this, and I'm going to try and finish this off. So I weighed it to start with. It's at 11.3 grams, and I'm thinking I should be able to... I, these take me about three months, I think. So they should. it should be done before the end of the project, but I'm going to bring that in as a brand new item all the way to completion. Oh, this was going to be a long video, you guys. I get worse as time goes on. Okay, the hair's bugging me. All right, then the next thing I am bringing in is for Sans. This is a product you bought because someone else told you to or recommended it. Well, I was watching videos during before the 21 Days of Beauty Ulta sale, the makeup one, not the hair one that's currently going on. And I watched Jaylon and Valerie. Of course I did because they're awesome. So I had to. And they both liked the Estee Lauder um, lipsticks. This is the Pure Color Illuminating Shine. And they both said that the formula was good. And this looks like a formula that is a me formula. So I grabbed it. This is in shade 918 Pampered. So that's what it looks like. And we'll do a swatch of it for you. And I don't, like I said, the coloring. Okay, so it's kind of a rosy color. Yeah, it's a mauve rosy color. So this is kind of a perfect thing for me. I'm going to bring this in for five days because I have a feeling that this one's going to require multiple applications per day. So I just want to use it on with five different looks, no matter how many applications that might be. I will try and track that maybe, but I'm not always so good with that because if I throw out my purse and then try and remember how many times I've had it on when I'm out and about 
and then coming back and remembering, okay, now wait, how many times did I use it? That's harder for me with something like this. So we're going to go with five days being five looks. And then the next one is Black Dog. This is an animal themed product. Well, with this, I decided to go with the Menagerie highlighter. This is the Arthurine highlighter. I think I've done the blush before in a project. This one is in Aurora Australia's and it is, it just says let's get glowing and it's got little snowflakes on it. It is a pink highlighter. It does have a little bit of a, I think it might actually be, I don't know if it's going to reflect or not. I, I can't tell you. It may be, it's kind of a pinky gold. God, you guys, seriously with the lighting. Yeah, you can see the shine, but I don't know that you can actually tell the coloring. Some of these things are very hard to see with lights, without lights, whatever. I'm going to bring that in for 10 uses. Okay, then exorcism, an item you want out of your collection. This is something that I have been talking about and I thought I was more done with than I am. <laughs> but I do still have an ordinary, um, this one is the Matrixel 10% plus something. I don't know what this says. Plus HA. So it's got some hyaluronic acid in it, apparently. Is that what that is? I think that's what that is. I don't know. Anyway, it's the Matrixel 10% for uh, the lines. And I am right there currently. I put a black Sharpie marker on that so we can keep track of my progress. This is going to take me probably three months to finish, but the goal is to finish the starting white on that is 68.9 grams. Okay, the last thing that I'm bringing in, because apparently I can't count. I used to be able to count. I learned how to do that before I started kindergarten. Huh. Apparently I've lost that skill. I'm going to bring in number 29, which is Silkies. This is a female spirit dressed in silk. So it's supposed to be a product with a silky texture, like a powder, or something that leaves your skin feeling silky smooth, like a lotion or some kind of skincare item. I decided, and I could have put this in a couple places, but I decided that I'm going to bring in this Laura Mercier powder. This is the loose setting powder. It's her translucent powder. The shade name is translucent. It does have the metallic cap because this was not last year, but I think the year before at the fall before holiday VIB sale. This is the one that was on sale. And even with the pretty gold metallic cap, I thought, you know what? I want to bring in a powder for Silkies. This is the one I'm currently using. Unfortunately, while there is windowing because of the way that I shake it, you really can't tell and it looks like a full container. So I weighed this out. We're at 92.3 grams. This is going to stay into completion. And maybe that's why I brought in more because there's a lot of things that are going to be hanging around for a few months. I don't know. Who knows what I was thinking? I never know what I'm thinking. All right, so that is everything for the project. I told you everything's going to be in the description box. Yeah, none of this is unusual. Okay, so we're going to talk about the music moment, and I'm going to tell you right now that I don't know how much of a weird segue there was because a lot of the things that I was giving you for information were wrong. So I'm re-recording this part and changing my ending. The song that I am bringing you for this music moment is a song called Ghosts by a band called Ten Years. This song is off of their album how to live as ghosts okay this is a band that started in 1999 and they're from the knoxville tennessee area they have done 10 studio albums that spans from i think it's 2002 <laughs> i'm still gonna screw this up 2002 to 2020 now since then they have also done a digital only album called deconstructed that was a 2022 release. I do not have that, and I have not heard that. How to Live as Ghost is an album I do have. I think I have two or three of their CDs. I'm not entirely certain. I did not bring it in from the car, but I do have this whole collection of How to Live as Ghost. I have it on CD. I always call them albums. I'm old. That's what I call them. All right, so um, one of the things that you need to know with these guys, so they formed in 99, but... Their first release, if I've got this correctly. Um, so how it worked out is there was an album that came out ouch, called Into the Half Moon. That was their first one. And that had Mike Underdown as the lead singer. That was the only album for which he was the lead singer. 
uh, Jesse Hasek is the singer that joined the band from another local band as their lead singer in 2002. So the song that I'm talking about has Jesse as the singer, just to make that clear, because it's very, very confusing. And then there was a point, and this is this is where things get a little bit strange for me. And so I'm going to try and figure out if... <sighs> There's a lot of stuff that gets strange for me in trying to describe this one. That's why I'm re-recording this. All right. So there was a point in the band where they actually were thinking of disbanding. In 2013... Two of the guys left, and they had been there for over a decade. So at that point, the lead singer said that it didn't quite feel like the same band anymore, so they were thinking about just disbanding entirely. Even though he wasn't a founding member, he's been there quite some time. And so it ended up where he reconnected with the two that had left, and that would be Matt Wantland and Brian Voden. And so they ended up rejoining again and began working on a new album in 2016. Okay, so this album that I'm talking about was released October 27th of 2017. I know, it's very screwy. It confused me too. The, so the single is Ghosts, just by itself. The name is Ghosts. And that's the third single off of this album. And it was released in January of 2019. So like almost... Well, okay, October 2007, she's Louise. October 2017 to January 2019, we're still getting tracks off of this same album. All right, now, obviously, like I said, they did a digital release in 2022. Um, they're still around, they're still together, they're still performing. This album, in particular, is a little bit of a change for these guys. And this one... Okay, so, okay, well, their prior album, From Birth to Burial, Burial, I can't talk, alluded to the band's plan at the time for it to be their final album, How to Live as Ghosts alludes to the sentiment of it being a rebirth of the band. And this is also alluding to the general sentiment that humanity spends too much time worrying about death rather than life. And that is kind of also the theming of the lyrics of the song, too. It's about, you, you don't know, until you die, you don't live as a ghost, and you don't know how to live as a ghost until you die, kind of, is the essential of the chorus for what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> wow. This is a band I, as long as they've been around, honestly don't know a whole lot about, and only have been listening to them for the last two, three, four years, something like that. I have no concept of time, people. But I haven't been listening to them for a long time or since the inception or the early 2000s or anything like that. I don't remember how I discovered them. It was basically a recommendation from something else. That is how I stumbled upon these guys and I liked their sound. And so I listened to a few of their songs and decided that, yes, I did like them. So then I actually purchased some of their music. That is how I do things in my world. I know a lot of people like download songs. I'll usually go find stuff like on YouTube or whatever. And I am, I'm old school enough where sometimes I like the idea of getting an album, disc, whatever, as a whole, because there used to be, and I don't know if there still is or not, but there used to be a lot of times an arc to how things were laid out. And I kind of like listening to that progression. So I like being able to hear something from beginning to end. And yes, I still have a CD player in my car, so... I listen to those things. I don't know what I'm going to do when I have to get a car that doesn't have one. I'm going to be bummed. But this is one of those that I did listen to. I listened to the whole CD. I listen to it while I'm driving back and forth a lot of times, too. And I really enjoy it. I don't know. Since it was released as a single, there should be a video for it. If I cannot find one, I will link whatever I can find, be it a live version. If I can't find anything, I will end up linking, like, there's usually a thing where the whole album is kind of played back to back and you're just listening for half an hour with like nothing exciting on the screen. Worst case scenario, that's what you're going to get. I'm hoping that I can find a down, some kind of just this song, a little bit downsized to one song only. I make no promises. Whatever I find, we're going to have in the description box for you. So check it out to see what it is I can find too. All right. I think that is everything that I wanted to clarify about this band. I am not entirely certain. I'm probably missing other things, so it's probably going to have been on your screen if I screwed other stuff up. But that is everything I have for you for this project. Thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoy the song. 
however I may get it to. And until next time, everybody, see ya. Bye.